we knew how far we were getting. We knew uh, it got to the point where we called the producers and said we don't want to be involved with the show anymore and they convinced us to stay because we knew that we weren't getting through at one point. You, you knew who was turning around. Reality TV is not reality. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This is Gino and Lauren's Adventures. Please subscribe down below if you like this video. We've got tons more. I, as you know from the title, um, was involved in the auditioning processes for The X Factor and The Voice. Me and my twin sister got really far in The X Factor and we got really, really far in The Voice. And um, I want to just go through with you how to nail a auditioning process for a reality TV program, especially the singing ones. Now, first thing first is obviously you need to have a good voice. So whether or not you're R&B, pop, rock, know your genre. You really need to know your genre because you really, really need to know your image because if you don't know your image, they will make one for you if you get through. So it's really good to kind of be that package already and know the sort of person you're going to be when you walk through those doors. Confidence is key, but not too much confidence. You still need to be a little bit humble, if you get what I mean. So um, the first thing I want to talk to you about is the actual auditioning processes. I want to be completely honest with you. And when I'm in completely honest, I mean completely honest. Reality TV programs are not reality. Let me repeat this. Actually, I'm gonna be more honest than that. Reality TV programs are fake. They are not real. Everything you see has been scripted, rehearsed. Even the people like me who are auditioning have auditioned about six or seven times before we even get to the celebrity judges on that stage. You know on the X Factor when they pan around on the camera and they see those massive crowds and people are screaming? <laughs> That's to see producers. That's not to see the actual celebrity judges. No one queues outside like that to see the celebrity judges. So please be aware that everything you see on that TV is edited, edited, edited. And by the time you get to the, to the contestants talking and you can see there's like cameras there and they're watching things on the screen or in the voice, for instance, you see people talking, they're sitting on that box before they walk through to the stage, that backstage box thing. Other people have talents. We've done that a million times before we've got to that point. They've just picked that clip to show you. Oh, there are a few do's and don'ts when you're doing this process and you're entering this process. The first thing I want to say to you is do smile. Smile, always smile. Smile to the people you meet. Be open, be friendly, talk to everyone you can. It's really important that you make friends with the people who are also auditioning. They will get you through this process. It is a very, very stressful process and you need to have people with you. Luckily I had my twin sister, but most people didn't. So it's so important that you're a friendly person and, and, you're, and you show them your best side, you know? Um, but also, you know, let the producers know that you're really, you're really happy to be there. You know, let them see that good side of you. Don't come with an ego. Nobody knows who you are. You may in your village or your town be, you know, known for being good, but you're in London, you know? There are millions of people out there who are a good singer. Good singer. This is England. Like, we've got loads of good singers. Nobody cares if where you, where you come from. Nobody cares. You need to humble yourself and you need to be smiley and you need to be a friend, friendly and approachable. And it's the, and you know, you'll get really far just through that. That alone will get you really far. If you have a good personality, that will get you through. Um, obviously the second thing is to practice, practice your song. Very, very different for me. I had two different experiences. I felt like, and this is very different to what a lot of people say, but the X Factor, I felt a, a lot freer to do what I wanted, say what I wanted, sing and wear what I wanted, than the voice. The voice was extremely controlled. We had a thousand more auditions with live bands. We had voice coaches before we even went to audition with the celebrity judges. I mean, they, they told you what to wear. They had an outfit planned. It was 
crazy. You couldn't pick your songs. It was absolutely crazy. Whereas in the X Factor, you could pick your songs. They gave you lists of songs you could pick from. You cannot just pick any song. With, as I said, reality TV is reality TV and it's not reality. Just want to keep saying that to you guys, you need to get it into your head. Third thing, when you're walking into the auditioning process, from the moment you get there, please be aware that everyone is watching you. I'm sure I've said this before, but I just want to say it again. Be aware that everyone's watching you and your image starts from there. So when you walk in, try and spot the producers. You can tell who they are. They're usually running around with a clipboard, but please also be aware that it's a bit like MI5. There's some undercover cops out there. They're standing in the queue. They're standing around. There are cameras everywhere and you may think that that, that telephone call you're on the phone to is private, it's not. Everything is rigged. You can't get more rigged than these places. I'm telling you, it's crazy. They wanna see what you're up to. They wanna, they're watching and they, uh, they are watching, they are watching, they are watching. I guess the next thing I wanna talk about is when you get in, eventually get to see the producers, the first producers. Now the first producers you meet are gonna be the lower ranking producers. They're like the guys who are freelancing, you know, they've, they've got their big break. They're kind of, they're quite eager and keen and they're also very young too. So when you go in there, you know, they're your buddies. Like, you know, speak to them how you'd speak to your buddy. Like they're, they're, they're cool, they're creative. You know, they're, they're in that industry for a reason. It's very key, show your personality while you're in that room. Smile, as I said, and then go for it. I find smaller groups more intimidating singing than I do bigger groups, which is crazy, but I do. So that for me was more of a struggle than the actual celebrity judge audition in like, in front of a whole crowd. So you go for it and you you give them what you've got. Usually at that time, they don't have a camera there um, filming you because that's the time where they get rid of most of the people. Like, no, sorry, you don't get a golden ticket at this point. What happens happens is, is you then the same day move to a different part of the building where the people who've got through that first bit go and see a second panel of producers and these ones are the high ranking producers and these one have a these ones have a tripod and a film and they are filming you at the same time so when you walk into this audition process be aware that you've got up your game a bit on this one you've had your first session earlier you're a bit more warmer you're a bit more looser and you go for it this is the one where you're like right because you know that th this potentially could be the film that Simon Cowell watches this is the moment where you really need to shine this is where they make all their decisions I believe I believe by, by the time you get to the celebrity judges I personally believe they already know who's going to win I believe that they already have a storyline and they're at that point waiting for people to fit that storyline. I think it's the this point where they have these videos that they decide what's going on. So just be aware of that. So when you get to the celebrity judges, just do your thing. Try and use the whole stage when you get out there. It's a very, very, very long day. You'll be there for ages. You'll be filming, you'll be filming, you'll be filming. You'll be filming more than you'll be singing. You'll be doing the little extra clips that they like to add in and the back Ground clips they like a lot of that they'll there's a lot of there's a lot of silence in the room and you've got to go silent you know it's a very artificial environment so it's not how it looks when you're on uh watching tv so yeah now that's actually quite free that's quite free right before you go to see the celebrity judges they give you a list of songs so that's quite that's quite free right the voice this is my own experiences so this is from my own experiences but from my experience, The Voice was the most controlling audition I've ever been to in my life. And that includes other auditions I've been to that aren't reality TV shows and are, say, production shows or... But The Voice is the most... <sighs> how do I say this? Artificial reality TV program I've ever seen in my life. And I've got to be honest, it was really disappointing because I'd left the X Factor process thinking, you know what? I'm going to do The Voice because that is about The Voice, right? that's about the voice. It's got to be, it's about the voice. And um, that's about talent. And that seems more, it's, you know, it's, at this point it was on the BBC. So that's going to be more raw. That's going to be more real. Oh my God. I've never, it was just an insane environment. And I'd say if you're going to enter a program like The Voice, which takes themselves more seriously, they're more highbrow than uh, The X Factor. The voice is more highbrow. Well, if you're going to enter The Voice, please be aware that you're going to have to have very, very thick skin. More thick skin than The X Factor, because these people are hardcore, old school. You can tell they've been in the industry for years. 
think devil wears parada you have no style or sense of fashion i i don't know that wasn't a question type of characters in the voice yeah i just need to make it clear if you haven't watched that film watch it so you don't read runway no not to mention a legend and before today you never heard of me no they, they tell you what you can wear, they tell you what you can sing. Before you even go to see the celebrity uh, judges, you've had about seven rehearsals with a full band, you know every person's name in the band. You've done this about seven times with a full band before you get on there. You have a vocal coach, they dress you, okay? And um, and you sing. I couldn't be myself in the voice. They had a plan and I had to fit it. I don't know if I, I'll do another video on this at a later point on the voice because there's a lot to talk about. We knew how far we were getting. We knew uh, it got to the point where we called the producers and said we don't want to be involved with the show anymore and they convinced us to stay because we knew that we weren't getting through at one point. You, you knew who was turning around. Reality TV is not reality and I have to keep saying that because I think people go into these audition processes and think that it's reality and I'm so sorry but it's not I'm so sorry um there is a storyline and people need to meet it and I'm sorry but it's true but uh, you know it's the the people it's the people you meet along the way who make it for you so just beware when you walk into an audition process that um it's it can be very different processes depending on the show that you're entering and that you need to have thick skin I, I was told by intern now I think this girl was quite young to be fair to the voice I think she was quite young but I was told while I was there I'm sorry we don't have any clothes in your size I'm sorry but we just don't have any clothes that fit you in your size like that's how it was like they'd give me size 10 dresses and ask me to try and force it up and I'm like I can't even get it over my bloody like leg like what are you doing to me I knew that they were going to be a bit like this with me because I put on some weight since I'd been on tv before and I knew how I felt and I knew how people had reacted to me since being a bit larger people treat you differently when you're bigger it's true they wanted me to be the um frumpy teacher like <laughs> So just be aware that if you don't fit into standard, old school, stereotypical singer type look, um, you may, by certain people, be made to feel, you know, disgusting. Remember that, um, that you're there for a reason, you're a good singer, you've got talent, and however people make you feel, you know, stand in the mirror every single morning and remind yourself why you're there. Just remember that, you know, these people have their own issues, they're doing their job, and um, it's not personal. It's really not personal, but this is my own experiences. <laughs> really quickly, guys, I just want to add that if you are planning to be on a reality TV show, any reality TV show, understand that you're going to be signing millions and millions of contracts and these contracts are usually confidentiality agreements this means you cannot speak to anyone about it they even try and say you can't speak to your mom about it obviously you're gonna speak to your mom but you know things like this understand that you will have no access to your social media you will be handing over your passwords they will be shutting down everything facebook instagram twitter any social media you are on they will be in control of and just know that you'll be offline for a bit so this is the sort of things you need to be aware of. If you are going to plan on recording some things, um, do it discreetly, otherwise you'll get in a lot of trouble. I didn't manage to do to get anything really, and it was so long ago now that God knows where that is. But yeah, just know that it's a very strict environment. You are signing legal documents, so be aware of what you are signing. And yeah. Um, the final thing is I'd say try to get some experience with live bands or live music. Try and get up on some kind of open mics. If you're in London or Manchester or Birmingham, try and make your way somewhere where you know there are open mics and start getting used to singing in front of people because the more relaxed you are, the better you're going to be and the better you're going to perform. And some of these situations were a bit sterile and you know they're not the most ah you know inspiring places to sing but i'd say get out there try and sing as much as possible and of course practice your voice and that's it really so think about your image think about the way you're going to sing think about the way you present yourself on stage know that reality tv is fake understand that you're going to be there for hours and hours when you're finally watching yourself back on tv you will not see as much as you think you're going to see of yourself you probably if you're lucky won't see anything 
and just know that um, the people that you met along the way are the best it's the best thing about the whole experience it's the people you meet including some of the producers by the way they are so funny because they're your age you know they're, they're they're great so yeah that's my video on how to audition for reality tv shows such as The Voice and such as The X Factor. And if you have any questions, I'm gonna be 100% honest, 100% honest. I mean, there's a lot more I would like to say, but I don't think I probably should. But if you do have any questions, if you're auditioning for anything like this, please comment and ask me questions. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe, like, and comment, and I'll see you next time. Bye.